Back in the kitchen this week with Chef Mark. It's that time of year. Seafood dishes are the featured menu item. This week we're going to be cooking up yellow fin snapper. <laughs> and a yummy sauce to go along with it. Yeah, so we're doing sweet potato and roasted red pepper sauce with a little bit of poblano chili. That's going to make the great base for the sauce and then we're going to do it with some Swiss chard. Okay, this sounds fancy, is it? Yeah, it is, but it's a little bit on the lighter <laughs> side too. There's no butter or anything. We're using olive oil to make the, to uh, cook the fish and to do the, uh, the Swiss chard. So it's a little bit on the lighter side too. So let's run through what's, what's all in it. So we've got our sweet potatoes and our roasted red peppers and poblano chili. We've got the yellow fin snapper that's going to have the, uh, the blackened seasoning and a little bit of salt and pepper on it, a little olive oil. And then the Swiss chard is going to be cooked with the shallots and the garlic, a little bit of ground coriander and some salt and pepper. A little coriander. I love it. Let's get started. Okay, chef. So we already have our chilies and green peppers and sweet potato all roasted. That step probably took about 20 minutes in the oven. Next step. We're gonna get the fish going. So since we already have the vegetables for the sauce roasted, this is the part that's gonna take the longest. So we're just gonna brush each fish fillet with a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper and some blackened seasoning. Set your rack about five to six inches from the broiler, and it's gonna go right in the broiler. It's gonna take about five or six minutes for the fish to cook. And while that's going, we can get the Swiss chard going and we can make the sauce. Fish in the oven, and now we're getting the sauce going. You know, this is what's really gonna pull everything together. Yeah, that's right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sweet potatoes and the red peppers, we're gonna get that in our blender mm -hmm. with the chili flake, put a little bit of fresh parsley in there. No parsley flakes, y'all. No, no dry <laughs> parsley. A little salt, a little black pepper. Put the lid on, we're gonna kick this on. A little bit of the water to make the sauce. We got our veggies all blended down for our sauce. That mm -hmm. looks yummy, has a really good color to it. We have our skillet hot so we can saute our Swiss chard. Yeah, so we've got the olive oil in the skillet. We're gonna add our shallots to it. Like that sizzle. Yep, got that going. We're gonna add our garlic. Then we're gonna add the, uh, the Swiss chard. Mm -hmm. Salt, pepper, a little bit of the coriander. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients. I guess the next step is just to put it together. Yeah, just put it together. So we've got our sauce here, which is the sweet potato, red pepper, and poblano chilies. We're just gonna ladle that onto the bottom of the plate. Mm -hmm. It's got a really great color to it. It does. Okay, we'll it does. And so uh, this was pretty straightforward. If somebody wanted to find these recipes, where could they find them? So you can go to the Rouse's website or the WDSU Facebook page. We'll have these recipes on both of those. Okay. And so the sh is the shard like the side dish or it all goes together? I'm going to put it right on top. Oh, We're okay. going to set it right on top as the garnish for this. So you can see this dish has got some really great colors to it. It's got some really great bite. The Swiss chard's gonna add a really great texture to the dish. The sweet potato's gonna have a nice little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit of richness because of the red peppers. And you're done. All right, and for the most part, I would say this is keto friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Let the people see what it looks like. That is a good looking dish.